Hi guys! Um, so today is a bit of a different video as you can tell by the title. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for ages, I just haven't really um, like known when was the right time. But then um, today I was just like fuck it, uh, I want to talk about this so I'm going to talk about this. Because uh, it's like a massive part of my life so I thought why not. Uh, so anyway, um, I used to have really, 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 really bad acne. Um, it came first when I was 15 and when I got rid of it because of what I'm going to tell you about, uh, that was awesome, but then it came back again when I was 17, 18, around then. Um, and then now, obviously, I'm not wearing ma any makeup in this video to show you guys. So this is my skin at the moment. It's not its best at the moment, but it like has its ups and downs. It's like completely fine now. Um, so I shouldn't really complain. Um, yeah, basically, I th I'll insert a photo here um, that I think I'll be able to find where you can see um, me with acne. Um, this was actually when it was getting better. I don't have any, I can't find any of the photos of when it was like really, really bad, um, but it was much worse than that photo. So you can imagine that it wasn't very nice. Um, so yeah, I got it first when I was 15 and I literally tried everything. I had loads of like facials and tried different acids and loads of that stuff. Um, and eventually one of my friends was like, honestly, the thing that helped me, the only thing was going on the pill. Um, so I was like, cool. <laughs> Why hasn't anyone told me this until now? Um, so I went on the pill um, called Jazz, which isn't the best pill because um, it's got a reputation of giving like a higher percentage get blood clots on this pill. Um, but anyway, I was like, fuck it, like, I'm gonna go on the pill. So I went on the pill. Um, when I say the pill, I mean obviously um, contraceptive pill. Um, because it controls your hormones and that was obviously what was giving me acne um, that my hormone levels aren't balanced in the right way because um, when I started going on that it just got better and better and better and after a few months I basically didn't have acne anymore I had loads of scarring um, but no acne and I continued to, get to be on that pill for about two years or so and once my skin was like really, really good, I was just like, cool, now I don't need to be on the pill anymore because I felt like the pill was making me a, d a bit dizzy and like if you don't really need to be on it, you shouldn't be on it because it like fucks with your body a bit. Um, it's not good for you. Um, and yeah, I just felt like I'm, I maybe shouldn't be feeling the way I did. Um, so I went off the pill and as soon as I did that, like, well not as soon, but like a year after or less, six months or something, my acne came back like crazy. <laughs> and it was even worse than the first time around. Um, so yes, that happened. Um, I then remember we tried loads and loads and loads of um, treatments on my face and it just got worse. Um, all the things we were trying, we were doing like lasers so they'd like do laser shots on my face and it would hurt so bad and we'd do acid and just loads of these things and it seemed to just like aggravate it even more. Um, so yeah and then in the end i was like guys this is not gonna work i need to go back on the pill i know that this is the only thing that's actually gonna work for me 
so I went back on the pill because I felt like and I still do feel like it's worth like all the bad things that come with taking the pregnancy pill I feel like that is so much better than how I felt when my face was full of acne <laughs> um, and yeah it was just horrible like it it's yeah, it's because of my, I blame my acne for like being the reason why my confidence isn't where I'd like it to be. Um, like, because I was in school um, during this time, it was a lot of like having to do speeches in class and I just felt like around seven, 16, 17, 18, even younger, everything is so focused on the way you look. And I went to an all girls school um, back in Australia and like the first day I went there I just got attacked by girls coming up to me saying oh my god you're so pretty blah blah blah, blah. Um, and that like fucked with my head so bad <laughs> and then I got really bad acne after that and I was like oh everyone's just looking at the way I look and it just made me super super self-conscious all the time when I was talking to someone I was like I wonder what I look like at the moment and oh shit are they looking at my acne and that was all I was thinking about when I was having a conversation with someone and that's how my blushing started as well um, which got really bad so I felt like when, whenever I didn't have makeup on um, I'd blush instantly <laughs> if like even even just having dinner with my parents um, and they asked me a question like a normal question like oh so what did you get up to today I'd start blushing like crazy because I just couldn't handle having anyone looking at me um, yeah it's fucked up isn't it <laughs> even when my so even when my acne disappeared I'd still continue to blush and it it was weird because it like I didn't want to make people feel uncomfortable um, talking to me because I feel like I'd make them feel guilty that they made me blush um, and that would just make me blush even more <laughs> uh, and I'd just have a big tomato face and for no actual reason um, but slowly over time so I'm almost 23 now um, it was at its worst when I was 17 18 and now it's getting much much better I can say like the past year or so it's been yeah I don't blush that often anymore um, I still get like really hot flushes and blush um, occasionally but not very often and I feel so much more confident leaving the house without makeup I rarely ever do it but when I do it I'm like so proud of myself I'm like yes I feel amazing yeah I don't need makeup Blah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my journey, that sums it up, um, and now I wanted to tell you some tips, um, that you can do if you've got bad acne, um, because, yeah, I like, I always watch YouTube videos about this when it was bad for me, um, and I found them very helpful, and now I'd like to share with you guys any of my tips so oh, all right where should I start um, first thing is that I've already mentioned is if nothing's working try going on the pill um, and maybe that's bad advice because I shouldn't be telling anyone to like take freaking medicine um, that isn't you know natural or whatever um, but if you feel as bad as I did, it's worth it. Um, yeah. Another thing is don't dry out your skin. Like people think that if you've got, got acne and oily skin, you shouldn't use any moisturizer because that'll just make it worse and it'll be more like fatty, blah, 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 blah. No, that's not true. Like your skin needs moisture so badly especially me like a lot of my spots come from me just having dry skin uh, and not getting enough moisture um, 
so yeah that's definitely my number one tip like don't try to not use moisturizer or anything like your skin needs that and it will actually help it um yeah uh, i've got a like a suggestion for mo a moisturizer as well <laughs> Um, the one that I really love is, which I don't have on me at the moment, is a Clinique one, um, which is like, it's the pink range, so it's like for their, for dry skin, um, and they, they do like, um, it's in like a little, oh, I guess I can put a photo here of what it looks like, um, but yeah. It's like a gel and it just sinks in directly and it's just amazing. It feels really good. Um, it was really gentle. Another one which I have here um, ooh, is not that expensive because I am broke as fuck right now. So I'm like trying to use cheaper things. Um, and it's this one. Eucerin or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, this one's better, the day one. Uh, I bought the night one by accident. Um, and I'm just using that because why not? Um, but yeah, the day one is a lot better because it's really light and it just sinks in. The night one is very like heavy um, and it looks a bit sweaty. <laughs> So yeah, but this is really, really good for some reason. Um, it's like an intensive moisturization. Um, replenishes the natural moisturizers, ure urea and lactate. So yeah, that's the tip. Um, some other things that I'm using at the moment are this product is literally magic and I need to buy another one but I don't have any money <laughs> um, but so this is for you bougie people who have money um, get I literally have like a little um, what's it called a little tester so it's the Estee Lauder advanced night repair and this is just magic it's supposed to be i think it's more for older women um who don't want wrinkles <laughs> but there's something about products for wrinkles and having acne or acne um acne scars that just works and i think it's because it's very like it focuses on evening out um your, your skin and I guess in a way acne scars and wrinkles are slightly similar in that aspect um, so yeah but this is just really good I think it's got something in it that some kind of acid maybe that is super gentle and it just makes your skin fucking awesome so that I highly suggest I think I'm gonna invest in um, another bottle yeah um yeah <laughs> um another two things that i'm using at the moment that i actually was sent um by this lovely swedish company called love and grip i'll show you them so again this is just concentrating loads on hydrating your skin um so I put this on almost every night um, and it's just, yeah, again, smooths wrinkles and fine lines, but I just find it really good for acne, scars and acne, like, yeah, it's really good. And these self tan drops are amazing to just put a little bit in your moisturizer because it gives your face just a little bit more of a glow and you just look healthier and if you've got acne sometimes it can look a bit worse if you're very pale and yeah you know you know with this cold weather it's not that nice so 
yeah, it just gives you a bit of a confidence boost. These guys, um, honestly, really, really good product. Um, so yeah, that's like my moisture recommendations. When it comes to cleaning your face with cleansers and things like that, I honestly just think like, like the priority is just to get your freaking makeup off. Um, I don't see how it makes a difference really what sort of like cleanser or soap you're using because you literally wash it off your face anyway. Um, so for me, I focus more on what's going to be left on my face because um, they're the more, I think that's more important. It's the same with like your hair, like I focus more on uh, like a pro prioritise um, what's it called, conditioner over shampoo because conditioner is basically what sort of will be left in your hair a little bit and yeah but I don't know, maybe that's bad advice but if you're poor like me then just get a cheap cleanser and get maybe a more expensive moisturiser <laughs> also using spot treatments if you've got a spot um, and using like you know the really intense stuff to get rid of a spot um, I'd be a little bit careful with using because you really you don't want to dry your skin out too much and I often find that if you use that on a pimple it'll just make it stay longer and get more irritated because it gets dried out and it's like Ugh, you know <laughs> so yeah I, I try to just avoid those things and you know just treat my skin really nicely um, but yeah I hope those tips helped you now I wanted to speak a little bit more uh, about makeup and how I used to apply my uh, makeup when I had a lot of acne and also now when I have a, like a little bit. Okay so I remember what I used to prefer when I had a really bad acne um, was to use quite a heavy powder foundation on top of concealer <laughs> basically yeah I, I found that was the, the most covering um, and also I think, I thought then and I still think that powder foundations are what cover pimples the best. For some reason it just sticks to pimples so much better than an actual found, like wet foundation. Um, and what I do, so in areas where I had really bad acne, I would take, uh, I used to use the MAC Studio Fix um, powder foundation um, and I dip it in, I don't have that anymore, but I dip it in that and I'd like twirl, twirl a little eyeshadow brush round in it and put it on my pimple and then I'd go like, do I have anything on this brush? Um, so say like here and then I'd like twist sounds so weird like who who does this but yeah I'd like twist it like this and really like push it into the pimple and that would just cover it really well for some reason um, and yeah you could just like put loads and loads and loads, and loads on um, yeah that's my main tip um, my studio fix was good very heavy though um, if you're like me where you used to have acne and now maybe you've got scars, but also still quite acne prone skin. Um, I would suggest using either Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is really good um, for layering as well. Like if you've got bad acne, um, yeah, Bare Minerals is just sick because it like allows your skin to breathe. And I've really noticed the difference between when I'm using Bare Minerals and when I am using Okay, I don't have that now, but I've got the um, Urban All Night Found All Nighter Foundation. Let me get, let me get it. I'm gonna show you guys. Look. Oh. 
So I can really notice a difference when I'm using this foundation, Urban Decay All Nighter, which is a really heavy foundation. Um, it's amazing, but it's intense. Um, and my Bare Minerals, that I def my skin definitely breaks out so much more when I'm using something like this. Um, so that's just another tip and at the moment if you're wondering what my current foundation is I use this one here so this is the hourglass um, vanish stick and I use the color buff um, I just feel like it's like the finish of it is absolutely amazing and you can also layer it in areas where you've got more scars like me it would be my cheeks um and i often i still like break out around here i'd say my lower cheeks and yeah but you know it is what it is we can't all be perfect and have perfect skin um anyway i hope me sharing this with you guys has given you something. <laughs> um, I know I always appreciated watching these types of videos and people sharing. So yeah, um, give me a comment below if um, like about what you think of this type of video and if you want more um, that are a bit more focused on um, beauty, I guess. I don't know what you'd say. Before I say bye to you, I just want to say real quickly as well that if you're wondering what I'm wearing, it's my own merchandise. Um, I have a store online where you can go and purchase one of these super cozy hoodies. Um, I also have t-shirts. I've only got large sizes left. Um, but yeah it's my it's my first original merchandise so if you're interested to have a piece then i definitely go and buy something now because they're they're running out um also i want to sell out so i can make something new as well um also i really want to buy this estee lauder thing so <laughs> no i'm kidding the, the the money you spend goes towards my music not crap like this although this isn't crap but you know yeah okay cool thank you so 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 much for watching guys i will see you soon um most likely another cover and uh, yeah hope you liked it bye bye